So here's the thing. I'm so bored. But I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't be bored because it's also the day quite literally just started. But I'm bored. It's Tuesday. It's 9.50 a.m. And the only things that I told myself I was going to do today were edit this weekend's videos. Um, so, but I might honestly just like post because I'm starting to do the um, side channel once a week and the main channel once a week. But the side channel video, the raw footage is only 24 and a half minutes long. I could literally edit this like so fast. And then if it's done, I kind of want to just post it. I don't know. Uh, so now I'm filming this for some reason. I don't know. Listen, I'm bored, right? I have just had a very eventful weekend, like three-day weekend, because it was just Labor Day, Memorial Day. I don't know or care. It was a weekend, a holiday, whatever. Like, I don't want to let that momentum of doing things end. But I don't know what to do. Um, okay, whatever. This is just a vlog of me trying to find things to do. Until I'm not bored anymore. The first thing is I'm going to edit this vlog. So, yeah. Super fun stuff. Should I do a time lapse? You can see how, like, dirty my desk is. <laughs> Should I do a time lapse? Fuck it, I'll do a time lapse. Okay, time lapse. an update. I've made coffee, by the way. Um, it's 1030. I'm done editing the video and it's ready to upload. I'm going to go ahead and begin the upload process. I don't know if I'm actually going to like post it yet. I kind of want to do a poll on Instagram to see if people care if I post it now, because like I want to do, I kind of want the second channel to have a schedule, but also I'm bored and like second channel videos are easy to make and edit. So I feel like like this video that I just got done editing was supposed to be this upcoming weekend's video. But this video that I'm recording right now could be this weekend's video if I want to post this video now. It's so like not that serious. I don't know why I'm over overthinking about it. I'm kind of in the mode recently where I'm like, I want to be very, very on top of work right now. And I'm getting better. I was like, I was ahead for a little bit. Um, and then I kind of, I didn't fall behind. But like, when I say I was ahead on work, I mean like, for, okay, say like this weekend's video, I think is going to be like the 10th or the 11th of September, right? So that weekend... To say that I'm behind on work would mean that the weekend, the week before this weekend, I'm working on the video for this weekend. When I'm ahead of work, I'm spending this week working on the video that's going up the week after this weekend. Does that make sense? <laughs> and I'm technically kind of ahead right now. I'm already ahead right now. But doing this could make me more ahead. And I really like being ahead of work. Okay, it's 10.39 a.m. I'm going to edit this video, the frat pictures, frat pics. I'm going to edit that until 11, and then we will see what the game plan is next. I rambled a lot, and I don't know if any of that made sense, but it's okay. I am a woman of my word. It is 11 a.m., and I have been working on the frat video for a total of 20 minutes, and I got less than eight minutes into the video, um, which is low-key kind of good. It's kind of faster than average. Um, okay, here's actually an update to our plan today on how to cure my boredom. Um, I need human interaction or else I'm gonna freak out because I always do this whenever I visit Sage for the weekend. Sage has a lot of friends. Sage has multiple roommates and they also just have a lot of friends because they're very much an introverted extrovert, mostly an extrovert though. Um, and they're also just very popular and very cool. They're a very cool person and you want to be friends with Sage. Everyone's friends with Sage. And if you're not, you're stupid. 
basically, my point of that rant about the sage is that whenever I go over to Sage's house, I interact with a lot of people because Sage hangs out with a lot of people, has a lot of friends. And then I come back here and I'm home alone most of the day because my boyfriend has like a real job where he actually has to go somewhere to do his job. Um, and it's just me in the house. And I don't have many friends admittedly and the friends I do have are either not in the area or are in school so they are busy um so I don't get social interaction very much so I I like it okay I like social interaction so what I was gonna do um in like the last vlog I mentioned how my headphones broke and I was gonna order new ones and I was looking online to just do that real quick when I saw the option of picking them up at a razor store and that made me remember oh my god a razor store just opened up in the domain which is one of my favorite shopping centers so what i think i'm gonna do is instead of ordering them online i'm gonna go to the domain and get the headphones there because for one i've never been to that razor store and i've always wanted to and for two it's gonna help me knock two things out of my brain that i like doing which is for one walking around getting some steps in moving my body i like doing that a lot because i I don't live like a sedimentary lifestyle, but my job is very sedimentary. Um, but for two, it's going to help me with my, it's going to meet my like social interaction quota for the day. That was, why am I talking so fast? I don't know. Fucking long, very long story short. I'm going to get dressed and we're going to go the, to the domain so I can get my cute new little Hello Kitty headphones. Here's my face. And here is the fit. I found this fucking crop sweater in my suitcase because I guess I just forgot to unpack my suitcase from June. And then I went to pack it for this past weekend and there was literally shit in it. Um, so I found this sweater again. So I'm wearing this and now i just need to put on deodorant and we're gonna go i really don't see myself doing too too much shopping so i just went shopping recently and i'm at a point where i'm like unless something i just cannot live without it i'm not gonna get it but i do like to look and i like to walk around and it'll kill time so why not and now we are ready to go so let's go Raw right, a update update. I'm back. It is 118 um, and I'm back from the domain. I walked around for a little bit. I honestly didn't do that much shopping. I got the headphones and I got a pair of shoes for this rave that I'm going to next month because I don't none of the shoes that I do have were either comfortable enough or go with my outfit enough for the rave. So I just got another pair of shoes. Sorry. Let's fucking unbox these bad boys. I'm so excited. Comes with the stickers that every razor thing has. I have so many of those stickers. Oh, these are literally so fucking cute. <gasps> Dude! No, these are everything, bro. Are you serious? Oh, these are so awesome. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a I don't give a fuck about anything. This is all I care about now. Um, this is everything I asked for, everything I need in life. I'm like so good. I'm charging them right now so I can use them. Cause I've been using a pair of my boyfriend's headphones, but like I'm gonna let them charge for a little bit because I assume that they're not charged. And then what am I gonna do? Okay. Um what am I gonna do now? I don't want to like show myself just doing like work and work and work. So maybe I'll do something else, but I honestly don't know what, because I do have a lot of chores to do, but like, listen, this is about curing boredom. This video is about curing boredom and honestly doing chores will absolutely not cure my boredom. Hello. Um, so let me brainstorm. I might like draw, we could draw together. Let me think for a little bit and then we'll be back. Okay, so here's the move. It's 3.38, and here's what I did when you were not looking. I worked a little bit on the script for the Don't Worry Darling video, 
and I took a bath. I was gonna read in the bath and then I ended up just laying there because I got this like pillow for the bathtub yesterday and so I just kind of like took a nap um, and then I laid in bed for a little bit. So basically what I've decided I want to do, I think, is I'm thinking of baking because I haven't baked in quite a while and I have like a bunch of unused stuff. You know, I have like a whole thing of chocolate chips. I have, what is this? I have vanilla, vanilla extract, lemon extract, I have sprinkles, I have cans of pumpkin, cocoa powder, like, oh, and I have coconut flour. So I have shit, okay? I have baking things. So I'm thinking of maybe baking. Ignore how bad this light is. Is that a little better? How about that? I don't actually know if that helped. But now I'm trying to think of like, what do I want to bake? Because I don't know if I have enough pumpkin puree to make pumpkin pie, but let me look and see if I do. But also I don't have pie crust. I have sweetened condensed milk. Wait, I low key. I low key like have everything to make it. Maybe I'll make brownies or something. Cause like, this is kind of a lot of work. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get into a whole pumpkin pie. I might do that for a separate video. But I have cocoa powder. I have vanilla extract. I have chocolate chip cookies. I think that I can make some brownies right now. For sure, for sure. Prep time, five minutes. Cook time, 45 minutes. And it serves 16 brownies. Fuck it, let's do it. We need granulated sugar, which we do have. Excuse me granulated sugar, all-purpose flour, cocoa powder. Um, the recipe says dark chocolate chips, but real ones, no, you use semi-sweet, okay? Fuck all the noise, fuck what anyone says, you use semi-sweet for baking. Salt, two large eggs, canola oil, or extra virgin olive oil. Um, I have regular olive oil. I don't think it's extra virgin. I think I fucked the olive oil. <laughs> that wasn't that funny. Um, and then half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna use my opened one. Why do I have two boxes of vanilla? I think I convinced myself I didn't have any, so I got more even though I already had some. These are our ingredients. This actually seems um, pretty simple. So instructions, preheat oven to 325. In a medium bowl, combine sugar, flour, cocoa powder, wait, powdered sugar? What the fuck? Oh shit. It does say I need powdered sugar. Fuck, I don't have powdered sugar. You apparently can make powdered sugar with regular sugar and cornstarch, but if I don't have powdered sugar, what the fuck are the odds I have cornstarch? One cup of granulated sugar for every one and three-fourths cup of powdered sugar. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so we're mixing all the dry ingredients in a bowl. Next is three-fourths cup of... Um, all-purpose flour. Okay, next is two-thirds a cup of cocoa powder. <sighs> Why am I making brownies? I, like, don't want brownies and my stomach hurts. <clears throat> oh, I need to add the powdered sugar. It's half a cup of powdered sugar. So I think that's just like a little bit more than a third of a cup or no, a little bit more than a fourth of a cup because the thing on that website said that it's one cup of granulated sugar for every one and three fourths cup of powdered sugar. So it's almost a one to two ratio, but not quite. So then I needed to do a little bit less than a half. So I, I think I just messed this up, but like, oh no more sugar in a baking recipe. 
I think the fucking... I think it'll be fine. It's a half cup of chocolate chips. Real ones know that you add more than that because we're not fucking boring, okay? Oh, and also these are like tiny. These are semi-sweet mini chocolate chips. Oh my God, they're literally so small. The oven is ready. And then we also need to add the salt. It's three fourths a teaspoon of salt. Fuck it. It didn't say to mix it, but like context clues, I'm gonna fucking mix it. In a large bowl, whisk together the eggs, olive oil, water, and vanilla. Damn, half a cup of olive oil, that's kind of a lot. Uh, ew. Um, okay, and then two tablespoons of water, half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so now we sprinkle the dry mix over the wet mix and stir until just combined. Okay, so it's all mixed, and I mean, the next step is to just put it in a dish and put it in the oven, but I was kind of brainstorming, and I think I'm gonna be so, so quirky and crazy. Hello, what the fuck? I think what I'm gonna do is be so like out there. I'm gonna be so groundbreaking, off the walls, show stopping, incredible, wonderful, and put it in a muffin dish. So I feel like this would just be so cute. And something that's so really cool and awesome is look, an ice cream scooper. <laughs> yeah, for some reason I have this, so I'm gonna use it. Okay, how long do these need to bake? 40 to 48 minutes. Oh, that's so long. I just dropped my phone like really hard for no reason, but it's okay. Thank God. Okay, well, I'm gonna fucking put these in the oven for 40 to 48 minutes and then I'm gonna, while I'm waiting on them to bake, I'm gonna do house chores and I'm not gonna record that because nobody wants to watch me do chores. And then we'll be back and we're gonna do more fun things to cure my boredom, I swear, okay? They're ready, I think. They smell ready and it's been like a little bit past 40 minutes. It's probably honestly been closer to 48. Um, I've just been cleaning. I got my house chores done. So now we are ready to check out these brownie bites. They smell good. They actually also look very good. Dude, look at this. Oh my God. I'm actually so impressed because these look genuinely very good. Um, they do have to cool off though, so I can't taste test them yet. But you know, I uh, that did help cure the boredom, I will say. That was a nice little activity. <sighs> what am I gonna do now? I wanna like draw on my iPad, but I need to charge my iPad. So I'm gonna go plug my iPad in and then we can draw or something. And I have something in my eye and it's pissing me off. I'll be back to try the brownies. <laughs> okay, it is time to try one. I think it's like cold enough to touch. Hold on. I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like a nice little brownie bite. That's pretty good. Hold on. This is a success. This is some good shit. I'm going to continue to eat this and then we'll be back. The next thing we're gonna do to cure my boredom is to redo my dry erase calendar, which might not sound like it cures boredom, but it does because I really like for that thing to be up to date and it's not, it's still on August. Um, what I'm gonna do now, my iPad is charging so I can't draw yet. I'm gonna make bracelets because me and Sage and Ash made a bunch of candy um, for the rave that we're going to next month. And, and 
I don't know. I'm just like, I'm in a making mode. I don't know if I'm going to give these away at the festival. Because these aren't like, the beads I have are not like these kind of beads. I need to get these kind of beads so I can make bracelets for Freaky Deaky. We're going to Freaky Deaky. Um, I have like these fancier kind of like glass beads but i still want to make bracelets out of them because i honestly don't have that many bracelets because i've just like i've never been a bracelet person but i want to be a bracelet person and they're like really easy to make so i'm just gonna make a bunch of fucking bracelets and so you guys are gonna watch me make a bunch of bracelets i know this is so riveting for you guys but also like I'm curing my boredom, you know? Like, this is not really a tutorial on how you guys can cure boredom. If you have all of the stuff that I have, you know, to bake or to organize your whiteboard or to shop or to make jewelry, then, I don't know, treat this as a tutorial. But this is more of a vlog. Um, not a t I need scissors. Not a tutorial. Okay. Um, I'm going to time lapse and then just, like, if I want to say anything, I'll say anything, but I'm going to watch TV while I do this because I would like some background noise. I'm going to put on like some music or a show or something. Have you guys watched that show Ginny and Georgia on Netflix? Because I've like, I've been seeing freaking clips of it for a while and I'm like, do I want to watch that? Because it seems kind of interesting, but also the girl Ginny... I think that's her name. She seems like kind of insufferable. So if she's the main character, I'm like not. Whoa, then I'm like not down. Oh wait, I do need to keep watching B stars. I don't know. I don't know. I'll ch I'll like watch one episode of Ginny and Georgia, and I'll see like what the vibe is. Ooh, or I could watch Gilmore Girls because I've also never seen that. Let's see if I like Ginny and Georgia. Okay, and now you guys get to watch me make bracelets. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Um, oh, lighting is bad. Are we surprised? We shouldn't be. So, it's um, like two days later. Basically, I finished making, I made these bracelets. I made these bracelets. And I made this necklace. Wow. Um, and that honestly cured my boredom because after that, I just like ate food and watched TV with Tyler. Um, and now my, fuck, my camera battery's about to die. Let me get through this intro. Please, let me get through this intro. Outro, sorry. Okay, but now, you know, this day, that day is over because I have to, like, actually do my job and I'm not bored yet anymore. I'm not bored anymore, so, like, I guess I cured my boredom. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching this random-ass video. I have a headache, and if you like this video, like the video, if you like the video, comment on the video. And if you like the video, subscribe to the video maker. My camera's gonna die. Okay, goodbye. That rhyme.